Now, the school year is well underway, but as most pupil pupils get used to their new classes, others have been able to join lessons by logging on from their bedrooms or somewhere else. There's now a growing demand for virtual schools where children are educated both at primary and secondary levels. At the moment, there are five private e-schools in the UK. One person who's been taught at an e-school is 18-year-old Sarah Stirrup, who spent four months learning when she was in year eight. She's with me now alongside author and teacher in a physical school, uh, Francis Gilbert, good evening to you both. Sarah, why did you go to an e-school for a bit? I struggled at mainstream secondary school um, throughout year seven. So I left year seven and I thought, what can I do next? And my dad looked and they discovered online schools and we just had a crack at it. Decided to have a go. Uh, so you were 12. Um, what was it like when you were there? It was amazing. It was. I was very nervous about being in another school environment after having bad experiences, but everyone made me feel welcome instantly. There aren't an awful lot of these places around, so let's have a, a quick look at the, the video made by the e-school that you went to. I love being in an inter-high lesson. I can chat to classmates here, as the whole group will privately to one of my friends, and the teachers are always happy to answer any questions. If I get stuck, I can put my hand up by clicking here and then chat privately to the teacher. So that's what life is like at Inter High. Does that remind you of being back in front of your screen and learning? Yes. So how did you then interact with the teacher? How did you make friends and get to know the other pupils like you would at a, a normal school? You interacted with the teacher by private message or by public message with the rest of the class. And uh, that's how you got to know your teacher. And sometimes the teachers would ask you to send them an email with your likes and dislikes, they mm -hmm. got to know you. And with the other classmates, we just added each other as a friend on Facebook. And where, where were they all? Around the world or around the country? All where? around the world. Um, mostly from the UK, but there were people from Singapore, from America, all around the world. We'll talk to you about what happened next in a moment. But Francis, this seems, well, it seems like it's the future. Possibly, although um, I think that nothing can replace a kind of real school where you are having that real human contact. There's a lot of evidence that, you know, children do need that kind of social emotional development that happens in a kind of real school. Um, perhaps the way forward is to have a kind of happy medium between, yes. you know, the digital world and a, a, a so-called real school. And we're seeing that already, aren't we, with kids using tablets in schools and being connected to the net a, a lot more than, than they used to be. Can you see the benefits here, though, if a child can't get to a good school or if they're suffering from bullying or if they have learning difficulties, for example? Yeah, you can definitely see the benefits. Um, but I think that one needs to use that as a kind of tool to get the child back into the kind of mainstream education because I think that children do need that social interaction. It's a really important part mm -hmm. of, of growing up. Um, so yes, uh, I do think that, you know, we could, it's an interesting idea and it's something that we can kind of think about and develop. The Department of Education doesn't have a sort of committed view on this. They said it's vital that every child, regardless of their background, gets an education which allows them to realise their potential. Of course, any child can be homeschooled if that's what they and their parents want. But Sarah, to finish off, you ended up going back to a physical school. You found one that was better than the one you've been to previously and well, it ended, ended happily, didn't it? You got some GCSEs. Yes. And w did you prefer being back there and you made some more friends as a result and that kind of thing? Yes, it was nice being back in a school environment, um, but definitely I could say that Inter High helped me move forward into that. Fantastic. Thank you so much for coming in. Francis, thanks to you as well.